Welcome to 5 minutes of revelation and today as you can see I'm still in Tenerife. This is the last week I'll be in Tenerife and after that I'm going back to Germany and I'll be in Bavaria for one week so the next podcast you'll probably see me in Bavaria. But today I want to talk to you about the prayer of faith. In those 5 minutes I want to talk to you about the prayer of faith because see we can pray a lot of things and people often pray a lot of different things and they pray it again and again and again but they don't see any change yet the Bible teaches us that if we pray correctly great change happens and that prayer has a great power in them but it's not just any prayer that will produce great change in your life it is the prayer of faith that brings the biggest impact so we need to learn what the prayer of faith is how to pray the prayer of faith and then expect those great results showing up in our lives because that's what that prayer will do for sure so to start it off in James 5 verse 13 it says is anyone among you suffering let him pray and then verse 15 says and the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up so here it talks about other people praying for someone but that prayer of faith you can also pray for yourself over yourself you can pray it over other people you can have other people pray it over you but you can also pray it yourself you can pray that prayer of faith and it's not just any prayer like I said before it is the prayer of faith that will save you and and many people can pray a lot of prayers repetitively and you can pray the same prayer again and again and pray God help me God help me break through for me here restore my relationships you know bring me financial breakthrough or heal me you know you can pray these things day in and day out but not see any change but you can also apply this what it says in James 5:15, where it says the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick then you can pray that prayer of faith once and receive your healing but now what is that prayer of faith in mark 11:24, it says therefore I tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe so this is faith believe faith that you have received it and it will be yours so here he doesn't say when you pray you know think that if it's God's will then he'll save you or not no he says if you pray believe you need to be convinced not just maybe or not you need to be convinced that is what faith is it's a conviction you need to be convinced that God heard you and that you receive it the very moment that you prayed and that is exactly how it will be yours whatever you prayed about and in 1st John 5 14 to 15 says and this is the confidence that we have towards him that if we ask anything according to his will according to God's will he hears us so we know that if we ask anything according to God's will he hears us and then it says and if we know that he hears us in whatever we ask we know that we have the request we have asked of him so this is exactly what describes the prayer of faith so first of all we need to know what God's will is because if we don't know God's will for our lives we can't pray the prayer of faith it's impossible because if you don't know his will you can't have faith in him breaking through for you in him in him giving you whatever you ask for if you don't know his will then you can't pray that so you need to know his will and he says this is the confidence that we have towards him if we ask anything according to his will he hears us so if we know his will then we can be sure a hundred percent certainty that he hears us if we pray so you find out God's will for you and you found out that God's will for you is healing or financial breakthrough or peace or joy whatever it is you're praying about once you found out that it's God's will for you you can pray it once and then be sure that God heard you because it's according to his will and then after you've done that you need to believe that you received it the very moment that you prayed that is what Mark 11:24 said if you ask anything in prayer believe that you received it and it will be yours so after you've prayed it believe that you received it and that is how it will be yours those two things pray according to God's will because then you know that he heard you and if he hears you you can be a hundred percent sure that you, he, you don't need to ask him again he's going to do whatever you asked of him that's how you can believe and receive it that very moment see once you prayed that prayer it's yours you received it you don't need to pray it again you don't need to do it every day again and again and even if you don't see any change in your life that very moment that you prayed it you still received it that healing or that peace or that joy is still yours because the moment you prayed that the manifestation of this the manifestation of whatever you asked for started so that very moment is 
when things started changing everything started aligning so that that peace that healing that joy that those finances everything that you ask for is coming towards you and that's why it says believe the very moment that you pray that it is yours even though you cannot see it you believe it and you go away after you've prayed saying it is mine I am healed now even though you might still feel sick or I have the finances I need even though you might not have them at that very moment that is what it means to pray in faith and to go away after that prayer and say I believe I receive it it is mine the very moment I prayed that prayer once it is mine and it and now it's manifesting in my life there's nothing else that can happen it's gonna manifest in my life because I believe I receive it and then after that you know you might come back the next day and say well there's something I want to do concerning that situation don't go back and pray the same prayer again because God heard you the first time if you want to do something then go back and thank him for coming through for you thank him for supplying you with whatever you asked for and just thank him for being a great God and giving you the privilege of this prayer of faith just thank him for the breakthrough that is heading your way that is what you can do every day every second every time you think of that situation you don't need to pray over it again after you've prayed that prayer of faith once because then you believed you received it it is yours and now you can go back and thank him for it and if you apply this in your life and if you use this prayer of faith in any situation then it won't take long for you to see breakthrough it will just come naturally it's just gonna happen to you and you'll see and you know it will take you it won't even take you by surprise I was gonna say it'll take you by surprise but it won't because you believed you received it and that is how it's manifesting in your life so you take that with you I want you to use this in your life to use this in any situation everything you ask God for use this prayer of faith live your whole life by this pray and then believe you receive it and then go back and thank God for breaking through for you this is how the promises of God will manifest in your life this is how you will see great breakthrough and how you will just enjoy God's very best so from Tenerife again take that with you and be blessed by it and I'll see you again next time